What is up guys, it's Modern Warfare here, welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the remote package installer to install package files to your PS4 over your network, rather than having to put them on a USB stick and install them through the package installer inside the debug settings, which is what we've had to do for pretty much every package file so far. But now there is an application that will run on your PS4 that will allow you to basically download your package files directly to the PS4 uh, from a web server hosted on your computer or one that's hosted on the internet. Um, so, you know, I, I doubt that, you know, there's going to be some kind of website set up where you can download fake package files for games and stuff like that because that's pretty illegal. Um, but maybe there'll be one for, you know, free applications and updates and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, but for now I'm going to show you how to do it locally. Um, to send the package files from your computer to directly to your PS4 without the need for putting them on a USB. So first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to open up the internet browser and we're going to need to go to a website that has version 1.8 of the homebrew enabler. Now if you go to the normal webkit exploit, yeah so if you go to the normal webkit exploit you've got the homebrew enabler but I believe unless this has been updated recently yeah, it's still on version 1.7. We need version 1.8 of the Homebrew Enabler. So you can get that by going to a different website. So if you go to this website here, which I'll link in the description, it will automatically load version 1.8 of the Homebrew Enabler. Now probably, if you're watching this like a few weeks down the line, then I'm sure uh, the main WebKit exploits will get updated with version 1.8 of HEN and you can just use those. But for now you can use that website to load version 1.8. So once you've got that version loaded, so we are going to have to install one package file the normal way by putting it on a USB stick and that is going to be the remote package installer application itself. But once we have this installed on the console we can use this from now on to install the package files. So I'm going to put that on a USB stick again, make sure the USB is formatted in XFAT or FAT32 format and then plug it back into your PS4. Okay, and then at this point you're going to go over to the debug settings and install the package file in the normal way by going to the debug settings, go to game, package installer, and then the package file on the USB will show up and you can install it. It's a pretty small package file so it should install fairly quickly here. There we go. Okay, and that's it. So from now on, we can use this remote package installer to install our package files. So all you're gonna do is press X and run the remote package installer. And just leave this up on, uh, just leave this running. Don't minimize it or anything, just leave it running. And now you're gonna go ahead and there's two ways to do this and both ways are not perfect. Um, I might do an updated tutorial when somebody puts out some kind of like proper GUI program that's uh, that's a bit better than the kind of current methods that we have of doing this but you can do it in two ways you can either run a full like Apache server and um, Scorpions made a, a web page a PHP page that can basically send the payloads for you um, and I've also created a couple of bat scripts as well so you can do it through uh, Node.js and just uh, drag your package file over one of the bat scripts and it will send the package file. So I'll show you both methods here in this video. So if you're going to use the method that I use, you're going to want to go ahead and download Node.js. So if you just, just go to nodejs.org and download um, the latest version for uh, Windows, 32-bit or 64-bit depending on your operating system. Okay, so I went ahead and downloaded the Windows installer. I'm just going to open it up here and install Node.js. So pretty basic installer, just next, 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 install. Okay, so once it's installed, you can go ahead and download the package sender, which will be in a zip file, which again, will be linked in the description. Download it, extract it uh, to your desktop. And then from here, what we're gonna do is basically set this up. So the first thing you need to do is install the HTTP server by just double clicking the bat file. And that will go ahead and install the HTTP server. So there we go, done. And then we're going to go ahead and 
open up the ps4ip.txt file and you want to put in your PlayStation 4's IP address into this text file. So for me, that's 192.168.1.115. That's my, my IP address of my PlayStation 4. If you don't know what it what it is, just go to uh, settings and then network settings and uh, view connection status on your PS4 and it will tell you your IP address. And then we're going to put in the server IP address. Now the server IP address will be the IP address and port number of the server that's going to be running on your computer. We need to run an HTTP server that's going to serve the files to the PS4. So, um, so the IP address for this will just be the IP address of your computer, which you can find by opening up CMD and typing in IP config on your computer and it will tell you your IP address. So mine is 192.168.1.64. So I'm going to put that in as my server IP. And then the port number will just be 8080, which is the default port that uh, the Node.js HTTP server uses. So you're going to put it in like that. And yeah, that's basically it. So now we're pretty much ready to install package files. So just to show how this works, I'm going to bring this up so that you can see the notification in the corner here. So what you're going to want to do is just take your package file, drag it over the install underscore bat. And actually, before I do this, I should also mention that if you have an antivirus uh, firewall or just a you know Windows Defender firewall, anything like that can block um, the PS4 from being able to access the server that's hosted on your PC. Because if you have a firewall in between, it can block it. So just make sure you add an exception in your firewall uh, or temporarily disable it uh, while you do this. And that way, you know, we should we shouldn't have any issues of uh, you know the files being blocked. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our uh, package file and we're just going to drag it over the install package.bat, and then it will run the HTTP server and then send the data. And as you can see there, it's accessing the server. And if I go here, you can see it says added to downloads, and that is grabbing the data from our server grabbing that package file from the server and it's serving that to the PS4. So the PS4 is just downloading it as if it was downloading, you know, something from PSN. And there we go. YouTube is ready to use. And there it is right there. So simple as that installed. So pretty awesome right there. Um, also make sure that the file name doesn't have any unusual characters in it. I have noticed that that's a problem. You'll get invalid JSON format if you try and install a package file that has like brackets or something in the in the name so just be aware of that um, because that can cause issues so anyway once that's done you can go ahead and close it so yeah simple as that so let's do another one just as an example one that's a bit bigger so this is minecraft so i'm going to go ahead and drag that over and we'll see that gets sent there we go it's been served added to downloads and then if i press the middle button here and i go over to minecraft you can actually see it downloading as if it was just downloading it from PSN right there downloading application if I go up to notifications you'll see it shows up in the downloads exactly like you know anything that you download from PSN basically it's it's just downloading it straight to the PS4 so yeah really really cool that you can do that now you can just download package files directly over the network no need to transfer them to a USB because that takes a long time so yeah there you go Minecraft downloaded um, I'll just run it just to show you that it's not corrupted or anything it runs so yeah this is just a huge you know time saver essentially because if you're downloading an entire game say 30 gigabytes you download the game that takes a while and then you have to transfer it to a USB drive which especially if it's a USB 2 USB drive it's going to take forever uh, to transfer across and then you have to then install it on the PS4 as well so just a huge time waste and this kind of skips one of those major uh, time wasting steps which is transferring it to the USB which you no longer need to do um, if you're on wired it'll be a lot faster that's the only thing if you're on wireless installing from a USB is going to be faster but then you know you skip the step of having to transfer it to the USB in the first place um, whereas if you're on a wired connection you're much faster just doing it this way all right so another thing you can do is install game updates as well so right here you can see I have um, okay so on my PS4 if I head over to 
Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and go to information, you can see that I am on uh, version 1.00, not updated. And this is a disc version of the game, so these are retail package files. So this is the Advanced Warfare update, and as you may be aware, the updates come in multiple parts if they're above 4 gigabytes. So the, this update comes in two parts, uh, underscore zero and underscore one, and this can basically install them without having to merge the package files. Normally you have to merge them if they come in multiple parts, you have to merge them into one package file and then install it through the package installer. But with the remote package installer, uh, you can actually install the entire thing just from the individual parts. So if I run the remote package installer again, we'll just bring it up here on the computer. And then you just wanna make sure that all of your parts are in the same folder. So mine are in the same folder here. They're both on the desktop. And then you just wanna drag the first one over the install patch.bat file. And there we go. And then it's gonna ask how many parts are there. So in my case, there's two, but it's a zero base index. So it means it starts at zero, so zero one. Uh, so there is one, because there are two package files, it starts at zero, so zero and one. So I'm gonna press enter, and then it's gonna go ahead and send it. And there you go, added to downloads right there. So now if I go ahead and minimize this, and again, I'll, try and I'll go back over to the to the PS4 properly here. And then we go to Advanced Warfare. Okay, it doesn't show on Advanced Warfare, but if I go to Downloads, it should show it up here. There we go. So as you can see, it's transferring, and it, you can see how much, how, you can see the total size is 6.686 gigabytes. So that shows that it is installing both parts, not just the first part, because the first part's only four gigs, and the other part's like two point something gigabytes. So, you can see it is installing the entire update, even though we haven't merged those into one part. So that's another really useful thing that you can do with um, with the remote package installer. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel this now and show you the other way to, to do this. Because like I said, there are two different ways. You can either use um, the bat scripts that I made here, or you can go ahead and use the PHP page by Scorpion. So I'll go ahead and show you that one as well. So if you're going to do that, if you're going to use that one, you're going to want to go ahead and download uh, UW AMP, which is uh, basically like a, it runs like a local Apache server with PHP and SQL and all that kind of stuff uh, locally. So you're just going to run this and that will start hosting the server. And then if you go over and just check that it is hosting by going to your local IP address, you'll see that it will run the remote package installer because it's already set up for you. And then from here, you're going to want to go into UWAMP, www directory, and then put your package files in there. So let's put Minecraft and YouTube in here. And then we're going to go ahead and refresh. So now you just put in the IP address of your PS4 into this box, 1.115. And then from the drop down list, you'll now have your package files that you put in that directory showing up. So let's do Minecraft again. So I'll go ahead and delete Minecraft right now from the PS4 just to show that this works also. So we'll go back on remote package installer. And now we'll click submit. Just bring this back up here. So submit. Uh, please match the format. Oh yeah, some t for some reason it adds an extra space at the start. It shouldn't be there. So we're gonna click submit and that should send the package file. And the reason I don't use this is um, I'm not sure how it installs patch files or if it can install patch files. And uh, for me, it's incredibly slow. It could just be something on my network that's kind of blocking it a bit. But as you can see, for me, it takes a long time to actually uh, submit or execute the query. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on here so you might not run into this issue but for me this is kind of the norm when using this yep there we go done so i skipped forward there but it did take quite a while so i'm not sure you know what causes that um i've seen for other people they click submit and it just sends the package straight away so i'm not sure something on my network might be like slowing it down or blocking it but um it does also work as you can see it's now installing minecraft so 
either way you can you can use either way to uh, install you can either use this uh, and this is handy because of course you could you know you could do this on a, a phone or anything so turns out as I was recording uh, we've got a third method uh, a GUI came out uh, to do this as well so now we have this third option so PS4 uh, RPI basically where we put in the IP address of the computer which is 192.168.1.64 and then the port is 8080 PS4 IP 192.168.1.115 and then the package folder which oh okay we have to do it like this okay it has to be a package folder so we'll create another folder called uh, pkgs for packages and then we'll put our package files in here there we go so all I have to do is add that folder in here and click OK and voila so yeah it runs this mini web server I, I hear it's slow though this web server is slow but you can um, you can use a different web server with this so uh, yeah so that's that's not too much of an issue Anyway, so let's see how this works. Should be fairly straightforward. Yeah, I've already deleted Minecraft, so I can install it again just to show you. So if we go ahead and, whoops, wrong one. So if we go ahead and select Minecraft here and then send package to PS4, voila, there you go. Yep, that's that's probably the, the simplest version. Unfortunately, I was already done recording um, when I discovered this, that this had been posted on PSX hacks, that works fine. So you've got three options now. You can either use um, the Node.js HTTP web server with my little bat scripts, or you can use um, this GUI, uh, which uses mini web server, uh, or, or you can use, you know, the PHP file um, by Scorpion, whichever way works best for you. The only thing about this one as well as the one by Scorpion again I'm not sure how you would use it to install multi-part package files for updates and stuff like that for retail games um, so you know you can use the bat script if if you know these don't support that um, but the creator of this GUI says that he is going to be updating it for allowing other other options so just uh, just check the link in the description which will take you to his post on PSX hacks so the latest version of this software should be there um, so when he releases a new version you should be able to get the latest one so anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful go ahead and leave a like if you did and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one